On this week's episode, we're going to make a nightlight using optical fibre. So making this nightlight should be fairly simple. Let me give you a quick rundown as to how I'm going to do it. So the theme of the nightlight is going to be star signs. I've printed out the list of star signs and I've marked out mine and Nicole's, both the kids and also my mum and dad. I'm then going to transfer the star locations to these clear pieces of acrylic using a marker. And then once that's done, I can glue the fibre optics into place, put the mould together and then we can mix ourselves up some epoxy resin and pour it over the top. To glue the fibres down, I'm using CA glue and a spray activator. If your fibres curve like mine do, make sure they all face the same way. That way it'll make it easier to glue the mould together. Now that all the fibres are on, I can start gluing the pieces together to form the mould. To give myself a bit of insurance against leaks, I'm also going to add some hot glue. Since I'll only be using one light source to light all these fibres, I need to gather them together all nice and tight, and I'm going to do that by using some zip ties. Did any of you guys notice that one that was missing? Bugger.
The resin I'm using for this project is a slow curing epoxy resin. For this light to be effective, it's best to surround the fibres in a dark colour. I'll be using black and purple. When I'm adding the purple, I'm just using a toothpick to help spread it around the fibres. Now that I've finished pouring, I'm going to go pop it in the pressure pot to cure overnight. Now unfortunately when using a really slow curing resin, the pot cams can be slightly boring, so I've taken the opportunity to thank all my channel and Patreon members. Now that we have our blank out of the pressure pot, it's time to clean it up a little bit. I need to get these sides off, give it a sand and a polish, make it look all nice and shiny. Then I'm going to take these fibres down and then I'm going to build a base to house our light. I'll definitely be saving these for another project. The 
The timber I'm using for the base is a piece of Australian Malay burl. So now that I have my base down to the right size, it's time to put in my LED light. Now to do that, I need to drill two holes. I need to drill a hole on top to put the light in, and then I also need to drill a smaller hole on the side so I can put my wiring through. You'll notice on the bottom of the cube, our optical fibers are a bit spread out. Now the reason for that was when the resin cured, it dipped down in one of the corners, and I had to sand that out. Now unfortunately with doing that, it went well below where our zip tie was, so they're a bit more spread out than I like. So what that means now is when I go to put my hole in for the LED, I won't be able to put it in the center. I'm going to have to make sure it lines up with the fibers. So now that I have my holes drilled, all I have to do now is sand up the base, polish up the cube, and then wire up my LED. I'm just using some hot glue to stick down the LED. It's now time for my final step, polishing the resin. Well this night light turned out great. Now if you want to make one for yourself or for your mum and dad, I'll leave a list to all the materials I used in the description. And if you know someone that might like to make one, please share this video with them. Now let's take a look. This night light is so bright, it's hard to see on camera, but it lights up the whole room. Well that's all for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, it really helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.